You know, Israel is home. The church is home in Israel, as you know. And anything that affects Israel literally affects the whole world. The Lord spoke with me July 26th, the year 2020. This whole thing would have been avoidable and avoided. July 26th, the year 2020, a few years before it happened. And in that conversation, it's all over the web, it's all over the tube. It's something we posted on YouTube. You hear me talking about the October 7th attack coming to Israel, 2020. I'm already giving the details. I say a lot of missiles will attack Israel and they will try to destroy Israel. And I say the big war is coming to Israel. That's why this is such an opportunity tonight. I began to seek out to look for Israeli ambassadors to give them this news that prepare the country for war. And so when the Brazilian National Assembly called Congresso Nacional invited me, then I met the Israeli ambassador there and I told him, tell Bibi to prepare the country for war. And the first question he asked, which war? I said, there is war coming. That is two months before it happened, August. You know too well that the Lord Jesus spoke about the parable of the Good Samaritan. That there was somebody traveling from Jerusalem to Jericho. And then robbers attacked him and he got injured. And then we know too well that the priest came and passed by. And also the Levite came and passed by. And then it's the Good Samaritan that approached him, bind up his wounds, sanitized the wound with some wine and anointed with oil. And this time is such an opportunity for the church and the nations. Because during the Holocaust, when Israel was being butchered in the gas chambers, we know that the church was quiet. The church kept quiet. And if you have any chance or opportunity to talk to the survivors of the Holocaust, they will always tell you that what they remember most is not the vitriol of their enemy, but they remember most the silence of their friends, of the church. Right now, Israel is injured once more. Israel is in pain and wounded. All of a sudden, all the nations have turned against Israel. So this is the moment. This is the moment when the only friend of Israel, the church, the only friend of Israel is the church, needs to get up and stand with Israel. And I want to say the following. Unfortunately, 